Hey guys, and in this video, I'm going to be testing Firebase single device notifications. Uh, I will be using my first app called Maze Tilt, which I am no longer developing, but I'm just using this as a sample for some test videos. If you click the start button in the app, it launches this maze activity, but I put this line before called string token plus Firebase instance ID dot get instance dot get token. And that generates and gets the token and then it sends it as a message, which is a special string that's formatted. So I'll show you, and it says instance ID token. And then this, uh, the percent button and S lets you add a number in that place. I've used this in another app to with shared preferences so you know how many times the user has opened an app, let's say. But in this case, it's just going to format the Firebase instance ID and then the token and in this new string called message. And then I'm going to log it. So main activity token would, is just the tag and then the message would print out which would be the, the token and then I could copy that and bring it to Firebase. And then you could also send it as a toast or do whatever you want with it. But in this case, I just kept it as a log message. And then that's all you need for this besides, uh, let's see. Uh, so I started, which is my ad library. I have the Google Play Services GCM, which is Google, Google Cloud Messaging. I don't know if I'm pretty sure I still need this, but I did this app like a year or two ago. So I just left it in there. And then I put the Firebase messaging, which is an absolute need. And so I don't have any custom code, which is very cool. But it also means that the icon will be the default and you can't do much. Like you can't have it open a new activity once the user clicks on it. But it's enough for now. And then let's open so i'll actually run my device with it and then you'll be able to see the app token and then you could copy that and you could use it uh, let's see. so you copy the app token once you have it running and then you put it in the firebase console and then you're pretty much done launching activity here it is, not specific to the app. And then I press start and then I could say token. And then here's my token. And this token, I'm not showing you the full one and I, I might blur it out, but it doesn't really matter since it's exclusive to this app instance. And I could just generate a new one so you won't have much of a use for it. So I just copy that and then and send a message. Single device. And then message is successfully sent and you'll be able to see it on the screen. 